Ashton Kutcher first became a household name thanks to his breakthrough role as the lovable doofus Michael Kelso on the hit sitcom That 70s Show. But he's also attempted to gain some traction on the big screen, with mixed results. Lately, Kutcher's movie roles have seemed fewer and farther in between. With that in mind, here are some theories as to why Hollywood doesn't have much room for him at the box office anymore. Small screen start. Viewers might have been split between Team Kelso and Team Hyde when it came to Jackie's love life throughout that 70s show, but Kutcher's on-screen presence as the jovial bonehead simply could not be denied. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> the show catapulted the then 21-year-old into instant fame, and he went on to solidify his status as a small-screen A-lister by co-creating MTV's prank show Punked where his Rolodex full of famous people came in handy as he pulled practical jokes on all his new Hollywood pals. He even single-handedly brought mesh trucker hats back into style, which is no easy feat. Dude, where's my blockbuster? Kutcher did have some initial success translating his slapstick humor to the big screen in 2000's Dude, Where's My Car? And he charmed alongside Brittany Murphy in 2003's Just Married. But both films still earned scathing reviews that didn't exactly bolster his rep as a serious actor. No! No and then! No and then! No and then! No and then! Kutcher tried to turn things around with a starring role in the 2004 time travel thriller The Butterfly Effect. But while the movie made a nice chunk of change, his Rotten Tomatoes average wasn't exactly improved as a result of the arguably underrated flick. Collectively, Kutcher's filmography has been marred with one pan after another from reviewers, and none of the movies he's acted in have ever broken the 50% threshold in their Rotten Tomatoes scores. I gotta hand it to him, he got me there. <laughs> That's a major bird. <laughs> Total typecast. Some of Kutcher's biggest commercial successes on the silver screen have remained in the comedic realm including his 2008 rom-com with Cameron Diaz, What Happens in Vegas, his part in Gary Marshall's 2010 ensemble dramedy Valentine's Day, and his Friends with Benefits film with Natalie Portman, 2011's No Strings Attached. In each of those movies, Kutcher's quirky demeanor helped his character stick, and although none of them were as dim-witted as Michael Kelso or his dude persona Jesse Montgomery III, they also weren't exactly Mensa material. Put simply, his fans seem to prefer when Kutcher sticks to the most basic levels of intelligence on screen. His lead role in 2013's Jobs, a much-hyped Steve Jobs biopic, failed to resonate with audiences or critics as well, proving that without the laugh, no one's really interested. Costly comeback. As his film momentum slowed, Kutcher made what was poised to be a winning return to television in 2011, replacing Charlie Sheen on Two and a Half Men. Despite the fact that Kutcher seemed like an ideal addition to the show, which boasted sky-high viewership during Sheen's tenure, ratings rapidly declined. After that, he again returned to TV with the Netflix sitcom The Ranch in 2016. On paper, The Ranch had all the right ingredients for small screen success up to and including his old screen partner from that 70s show, Danny Masterson, and a roundtable cameo from fellow former castmate Wilmer Valderrama. But unlike a lot of Netflix productions, it's been met with little critical acclaim and hasn't attracted the kind of cult audience enjoyed by many of the streaming service's other original series. FFBF Another hindrance to Kutcher's film career is, ironically, his off-screen success. He moonlights as a tech developer and investor, which has become a serious second work life for him. And he basically helped put Twitter on the map by engaging in a popularity contest on the platform with national news station CNN in 2009. Plus, let's face it, he tends to make more headlines for his personal life than his on-screen accomplishments. Kutcher and his first wife, Demi Moore, were regular characters on the red carpet and used their social network platforms to document virtually every detail of their marriage. And he and his second wife, Mila Kunis, continue to attract off-camera attention. Aww. We're making people. We're just making people. Yeah. Even as audiences avoid Kutcher's films, a lot of people still take the time to speculate on what the couple will name their children. Not that he doesn't give them plenty of reasons to play along. I, I, there was a rallying cry from a collective that believed in the name Hawkeye. Hawkeye. I'm an Iowan, yeah, right? Yeah. Hawkeye. Have a kid named Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Yeah. And it's like mash. Like he could be a doctor. Maybe the two should go ahead and just make that fake Moonquake Lake movie from Annie with Rihanna after all to turn things around for him. What if when you go to the moon, there's an asteroid or something? Then I will die. But I will catch you. I know you. It's time. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too.